I'm John Larson, Technical Trainer for EpiRock USA, Service and Exploration Drilling. Today we're going to be talking about the breakout table on the DTH model rigs. This applies to FlexiRock D60 and 65, as well as a SmartRock D60 and 65. What I mean when we talk about adjusting the breakout table is the timing between the two jaws. We don't want one jaw to come out faster than the other jaw and potentially misalign the pipe. To achieve this, we have a flow regulator on the top set of jaws, and there's one down on the lower set of jaws as well. We need the, the feet in a plumb vertical position to do this, preferably with a hammer installed and the centralizers in the lower area, keeping everything in good alignment. We'll adjust this flow regulator so that when a jaw comes from the left and the right, they make contact with the pipe at the exact same time. If the left comes out too soon, we have the potential to move the pipe off center before the right one gets to it in time. There's a lock nut on the back here. We'll loosen that up, adjust the flow rate, trying it several times until we get it right. Once it's adjusted correctly, we go ahead and lock that back down. Same operation for the lower set of jaws. When we do this, we also want to be sure we have it between this line right here and the bottom of the pipe. This is a crush zone for it. The walls are thicker. If you grab up in this area of the pipe, you have the potential to crush the pipe with the jaw set. If you need any further assistance on this, please contact your local EpiRock Service Center or dealer for the rigs in your area.